<laughs> hey Facebook, I'm coming to you from one guess, the beach, wowzers, look at this hair. Guys, I'm not even going to try to get this hair off my face, it's just ridiculous, so you're just going to have to deal with, deal with this. I'm just going to wait for a couple of you to hop online, but I'm on my way tonight to grab Hey Donna, how are you going? To grab this camera that I manifested yesterday, which is really freaking exciting. So that's what I'm going to be doing this evening. And I was on the way here in the car and I had this thought and I was like, wow, I need to share this. And this, this is going to be a long live stream, guys. It's just something I wanted to share with you. Okay, what is going on with this hair? Hey Donna. <laughs> so what I wanted to share with you guys is... Your gifts, your talents, your purpose has always been in you because it is you, right? Now, when I look back to my childhood and I think about who I was and what I did as a child, I used to make, and I don't even know if my parents remember me doing this, but I used to make cookies or biscuits. I can't even remember exactly what they were, but I used to make them and I used to set up a little stand out the front of my house and sell them. And this was, I was all of about probably between eight and and 10 if that hey Mary how are you going eight and ten if that right I also used to pretend I was a school teacher and I was also a dancer so what I'm trying to tell you here is what I do now was always in me the entrepreneurial side of me I used to sell cookies as a kid right I used to try and make money as an eight-year-old already teaching pretending I was teaching people in a class. I used to set up my room and get blank pieces of paper like covered all over my floor and I used to pretend that I was teaching to a class. And dancing, right? Hey Danielle, dancing. I've always been a performer which essentially is what I'm doing to you guys now, for you guys now. Performing on a live stream in a way that's obviously not dancing but I'm teaching, right? So my whole point here is it has always been in me. To become an entrepreneur, to become a teacher, to become a performer. Hey Karen, it has always been in me. And I want you guys to understand your strengths, your purpose, your passion has always been in you. What did you love as a child? What are you good at? You know, we're so quick to focus on our, on our weaknesses and the things that we still need to improve. Hey Scott. We are so quick to focus on the things that we need to improve or our weaknesses, but we forget our strengths. And you know what? I don't totally blame us as a society because society has done a really good job of convincing us that we need to live and work a certain way to get by and to make money. And it's ridiculous, right? It is ridiculous because I know I've thought this before. I know I've had these thoughts in in the past before about what I used to do as a kid and what's always been in me, my passion. Hey Renee, but I want you guys to understand it too. When I look at everything I did as a child, pretending I was a teacher, being a dancer, baking cookies to sell as an eight-year-old, who in their right mind as an eight-year-old thinks to make money, thinks about what they can do to start up something to make money. The point is it's always been in me. I have always been an entrepreneur. I've always been a dancer. I've always been a teacher. So your gifts, your strengths, because we all have strengths, right? Your gifts and your strengths have always been in you. But somewhere along the way, we forget them. We lose touch with them because we, we're molded to believe we have to live a certain way. We are literally brainwashed to think that we have to live a certain way every day and we forget what's truly within us, what has always been with us, what has always been within us. So this is my little takeaway for you guys today, right? I want you to think about it. if you feel like you aren't doing what's fulfilling you, if you feel like you're nowhere, nowhere near fulfilling your purpose, if you feel like for some reason you're, you're failing at your work or you're failing at your job or you're feeling like you're not you're not living up to your full potential. You're not doing what you know you really could do. You're not, hey, Jeffrey, keep showing your gifts. Thank you. Thanks for that. If you're feeling like something inside of you is just being wasted, your gifts, your talents, your purpose are just being wasted, there's a reason for that because you're not pursuing it. Somewhere along the way, you have lost that. Somewhere along the way, you have gone, oh, no, 
I'm just going to bury that. I'm just going to bury that. I'm going to forget that that's what I'm good at. I'm going to forget that that's what I truly love. I'm going to forget that that's what's always been in me. And I'm going to go and do what society has told me to do. I'll say it again, guys. There's a reason I used to pretend to be a teacher as a, as a kid. There's a reason I was selling cookies as an eight-year-old at the front of my house to make money. There's a reason I was a dancer. Because all three of those things is what I'm doing now. And guess what I'm doing now? I'm living and breathing and pursuing my purpose and my passion every single day because I allowed myself. Hey, Lani, how you going? Because I allowed myself to stop being brainwashed, to stop letting society tell me how I should be successful or how they think I'm going to be successful or this is what I have to do. I stopped allowing myself to become brainwashed. And I allowed myself to tap into what has always been in me. And now I'm doing it. I am using my strengths. I'm using my strengths to help others. I'm using my strengths to help transform other people. Right? Let me just see what's coming here. Hey, Ali. Donna, this is really here for me. I'm still trying to figure what I was as a kid. And I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. I speak to so many people who... Hey, Josh. <laughs> I speak to so many people who feel the same way. If you're feeling disconnected from what you're doing every day, if you are feeling disconnected from what you're doing every day, it's because you're not aligned. You're not allowing yourself to pursue what you are good at. You have forgotten what your strengths are. What is going on with this hair? It's the wind. Sorry, guys. You have forgotten your strengths. You have forgotten what to your core you are good at and we all have strengths but then we get put into jobs and we're told to be a certain way and we're told that we have to improve on this if we want to get by we have to work on this we have to become this person and it's like no who you have to become is who you've always freaking been and that is in you you were born with that I was born an entrepreneur I was born a dancer I was born a teacher and nothing and no one can shake that from me and no one can take that out of me. I can't even take that out of me, even if I tried. You can't ignore who you really are. So stop trying to run from it. Stop trying to run from who you truly are inside or stop pretending to be something or someone that you're not or stop trying to feel like you have to become someone that you're not. Because you are going to make the biggest impact. You are going to love your work the most if you're doing what has always been in you all along. So I want you guys to really, really think about what are your strengths? What has always been in you? What did you do as a kid? What comes to you so naturally? What do people, when people come to you and they ask you for advice or you're doing something, what gives you the most joy? What do you find the most effortless to do? That's what you need to be doing. Somewhere along the way, I get it, you've disconnected from that. We all have. I truly believe we all have in some way have allowed ourselves to become disconnected because of influences and society and allowing ourselves to become brainwashed. But no one else can bring you back on your path of truth. That's something you can do. That's something you have to do. So I'm going to leave that with you guys. If you've got any thoughts or questions around this, let me know. If you love what I'm saying, leave me some love. If you agree, if you feel like this is you, if you feel like you've got strengths inside of you that you have just suppressed and you've been keeping suppressed for a long time, let me know and let me know what they are. Claim it. I want you to claim it. I want you to own it. Let everyone know and allow yourself to bring that to the surface again and pursue that. Okay, so share, tag someone in this that needs to hear this. Have an awesome day, evening, wherever you are in the world. Once again, I apologize for this hair. I have no idea what's going on. And I will speak to you guys soon. Much love. Bye.